Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. Something's going on. Some type of conflict. Fighting. Two of Pentacles. Or somebody's just really conflicted right now about something. This could even be how you feel about walking away from something. So somebody's going back and forth about whether or not they want to walk away from something. Something toxic. It could be a, a habit, um, a, pers a person, an addiction. Let's see. Clarify the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands. So... Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. The Fool. Somebody's trying to figure out if they want new love or if they want to... Yeah, it's like... Hold on. Eight of Cups. Walk away from what? So some of you guys... It's funny I said Taurus Energy. Some of you guys are trying to... Either a, a, a Earth sign is walk, thinking about walking away from you or you guys are thinking about walking away from an Earth sign. It's like you guys don't know if you want to keep trying to work on things with your twin or if you want new love. It's like you guys don't know. There's actually a lot of people that want you. With the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands, very attractive. Won't, won't have any problem finding anybody else that will want you. Clarify the devil. So you guys are like, I know I can. I know that there's people that want me. Like, I know I'm a catch. So, I don't know. Clarify the devil. The Knight of Wands. Ooh, I don't like that. The Knight of Wands and the Devil. <sighs> this person is very unstable. They're toxic. They're wishy-washy. They're fickle. They're possibly even promiscuous. What's up with this Devil and the Knight of Wands energy? So, want, so that person wants you. This toxic player, that's how you guys view this person, wants you back. Oh, wait, well, it could be also, let's see. Oh, dark night of the soul. This person's going through the dark night. This person that you walked away from, you guys still don't know if you're done with them though. I can see it here. Yeah, there's somebody that you either walked away from or you're thinking about walking away from who's actually, yeah, I would say you're thinking about it. I don't see that you have done it quite yet. I see conflicted energy. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to walk away from this person. I don't know if I want new love. I don't know if I want to go in a different direction. But whoever this person is, this person's starting to move into alignment with you. They do want you back. This person's trying to manifest a new beginning with you or manifest you back into their life. They're going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, putting your life. See, but his spirit is telling you to not wait on this person to finish this process, though. This person's going to want you back. This person is leveling up. They are, they are ascending. But spirit is saying that, like, it's going to be a while. Yeah, what, this person may even want you to wait on them or something like that. Fleeting love messages. What is this page of wands energy? Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of messages. So somebody is maybe going through a really transformative period right now, and they may reach out to you to get you to kind of like wait on them to change your mind about them. It's like I see like a lot of exchange. See, it's like somebody wants another. Somebody even may be reaching out to you like wanting another chance, or I don't know. The six of cups. Yeah, somebody returning. Somebody's also getting the consequences of their actions, like for something that they did in the past. Yeah, trust the journey. Your connection is protected. Like I said, this person will be back. This person's coming back towards you a lot more vulnerable. Yeah, they're doing a lot of soul searching right now, but they're going to be coming back towards you a lot more vulnerable. And when they want to come back together with you, they're going to want to take things to the next level with you. Yeah. But I do see you like either you guys have been in no contact with this person or like there will be like a quiet period. Like you will, this person will go quiet or something like that. How does whoever this person is feel about my my collective? How do they feel about my collective? They feel like they want to commit to you. <laughs> they feel like you're marriage material. They feel like you guys have a spiritual connection or a spiritual love. But see, what is ghosting? They could have, but they ghosted you. King of Swords. What are they stressed out about? The Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. Okay, why? Are, what is this about? What does that have to do with this person? What are they hiding here? Is this person hiding that they're in another relationship? Somebody's hiding that they're in a relationship or something. Somebody could be ghosting you to handle another situation or something like that. Because what? Tell me about this thing in King of Cups. 
Oh, the Ten of Cups. What's up with my collective? Money focus. Money over love. Money affecting your love life, okay? And Two of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting is that there's a lot of love between you and this person. They may have another person, but, you know, if that's, supposed, if that's what's going on and that's significant to this reading, it'll come out again. But for others of you, this person is recognizing that there's a lot of love between the two of you. There's mutual love here between the two of you. King and Queen of Cups, right? But there's something to do with finances here that's a problem because we have money over love. Maybe they, if they do have another person, they keep dealing with that person for financial reasons. But it says money affecting your love life. So somebody's financial issues, their financial instability or something like that is making it so that it's affecting your ability to cultivate a relationship, this happy ending, this ten of, ten of cups with this person, this harmony, satisfaction, happy union, family is a problem. And I feel like that's why you guys are indecisive about this person. You're recognizing that there's a lot of love between the two of you. But there's something about this person not being stable. Like something, something's unstable about this person, especially, yeah, the Knight of Wands, the devil. They have their, they just have poor habits. They have maybe addictions that, that they have toxic habits. It's like. It's almost like that, you know, when love isn't enough type thing, you're like, or is, is love enough in this situation or is it not? <sighs> tell me more, more about what's, what's, the, what's going on currently? What's on in the near future? Let's see. We have the seven of pentacles. So somebody's reevaluating things or somebody's thinking about what they want for the long term or for their future. You guys can be reevaluating whether or not you want to keep dealing with this person. We have the, oh, you have the ace of wands and we have the wishing. So, mm, Passion, spark, beginnings. What about wishing, though? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And what a catch. So, if you're not speaking to somebody, someone, I don't know. If you're not speaking to somebody, they're thinking about you. It's like they're dreaming about you or they're, like, replaying events that happen with you. This person views you as very stable. Yeah, this person views you as very stable. They view you as a catch. This person wants a new beginning with you or to respark things with you, Ace of Wands. Or maybe they're feeling very motivated here. What's happening? Tell me more about what's happening. Uh, what is that? The Page of Swords. So there's some spying going on. If you're not in contact with this person, they're watching you. Ripped apart. It's almost like somebody's finding something out here or something is there. Something's being found out here. What's being found out here? Ooh. Somebody, okay, rejection. What about rejection? And Nine of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. The cleanup. You may be told this person that... You could have something... Like, this... How do I explain this? You guys are dealing with this person like to some degree, but it's like not all the way or something. Cause that card literally says on it, love without commitment. So like, you, I don't know, are you guys, are they in contact? Somebody's trying to offer you something, but it's like you're choosing to stay single or you're not committing to them. And it's, it's like, you're, I don't think it's like you're dealing, like, I don't know. It's like you guys, there's love here. You may be speaking to this person. They're coming in, offering something to you or kind of being more vulnerable with you. But I just feel like there's like you're in this energy where you're staying single or something like that. We have cleanup here. Yeah, so maybe you feel like this person has more work to do or they need to get their life together. Yeah. Or you guys feel like there's a karmic that they need to cut off. They need to set sever ties with somebody. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, five of pentacles. See, I'm telling you. For some of you, you guys are not committing to this person because you feel like they don't they don't have anything to offer you. Five of Pentacles, they're broke, or they for some somebody's feeling very rejected or a little bit rejected by you or something like that. Clarify the five of, or left out in the cold. No, it's like ten of pentacles. Yeah, exactly. You want the ten of pentacles, and this person's in the five of pentacles. So how are you gonna be able to build the ten of pentacles, which is the long-lasting union, marriage, salt foundation? With somebody that is in the five of pentacles energy and a lack energy. And, and on top of that, they're not even really trying to do anything to make changes. So yeah, we have lessons here. It says separation is necessary in learning divine lessons. And we have date. So it says invitation time together. So it's almost like somebody's in the midst of this dark night of the soul. Or they're in the midst of learning some type of lesson here. But they, it's like, you. I see you possibly spending time with somebody. 
Yeah, like, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. I see you possibly spending time with somebody, but, like, and trying to, like, but it's, like, kind of lighthearted. You're, you're, I don't know. What is this? The date? Queen of Cups? What about the Queen of Cups? Divine timing? Okay, and Four of Pentacles. This person is wanting to hold on to you. Patience needed. They're wanting you to continue to, to be in an energy of self-love. Um, and continue to work on healing and working on yourself. This person's going to try to hold on to you because they know that you love them. It's something about the way that you love them or the way that they know that you feel about them. It's like they, they don't want to lose you. Like this person, yeah, I don't know. Who's, what's up with this Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Two of Cups. What about the Two of Cups? And I'm telling you, this person knows that there's something. This person knows that you genuinely love them. With the two, they want to, this person wants to be with you. I don't know if they know about twin flames and all that stuff, but they know that there's something special about you in this connection. Very strong connection between the two of you. Obviously, this is a twin flame reading, but anything else? Waiting. <sighs> waiting on, but it's like they want to keep you waiting on them. I don't like that. And. I see them coming in to fight for this or it's like they don't want to lose the person that they know genuinely loves them. I think this person also feels like you're very healing to them. Nurture, like you're very nurturing and empathic and I think it's like they don't they don't want to lose somebody that loves them as much as you do or there's something about the emotions and also possibly about the healing energy. Huh. All right, let's get a few more. Anything else? It's like they, they're gonna they're gonna try to keep you from moving on. Yeah, they, they know that you're the empress or the emperor. Take how it resonates. You're operating out of a vibration of love. Exactly. Yep, mirroring. Oh, and now the fact that you guys are sitting on the throne. What do twin flames do? They mirror each other. So you guys are sitting on your throne and you're staying on your throne. So what do you think this person's about to do? If they haven't, what did I say earlier? I don't remember where the cards are, but what did I say earlier? That this person is about to start getting, they're about to catch up to you. I don't know where the cards went, but the, 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 it says once you back moving into alignment, they're moving into alignment because you are in alignment and you're not letting anybody knock you out of alignment. So they're mirroring that energy. Okay, let's get one more. We have independent. Yeah, they're putting a lot of work and effort into something or they're wanting to put a lot of work and effort into you. Six of Wands to have some type of victory or success. Yeah. Yep. And you guys may not be expecting this. Yeah, healing energy here. But I just see this person's like, they're they're not ready, like, all the way. But they're, they're actually, have, they, have, they have the willingness. It's like they're trying. It's something like, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. They're starting to get into alignment. Um, they're starting to get on your level. They're not there yet, but they are starting to get onto your level. And I think that, um, it, it's, you have more to do with it than you think. Okay. Um, so let's get some Oracle cards. It's like this person's ready to try to like cultivate this relationship. Maybe they've gotten to a certain level of like healing and working on themselves and clarity and stuff like that that now they feel like they want to try to put work and effort into a relationship with you okay so hanging so it's like things are stagnant right now or things are stuck. Yeah, stuck, standstill, break, waiting, no action. So yeah, you've been in separation from this person. Tell me about, more about hanging. Good luck, but things are going to change. Things are not going to stay stagnant. Or if, if you may feel like not a lot's happening, but Spirit says good things are manifesting. Yeah, blessed connection. Yeah, fortune, lucky break, good opportunity, great chance, joyful occasion. Okay, see, there's something here about money. Maybe somebody needs to work on focusing on, they need to focus on, if you're not speaking to this person right now, there's good, there's positive changes happening behind the scenes, but just know that this person has to get their money together first. So they're not speaking to you or they're distant right now because they are working on their money. We have money matters, career focus, investment, job, resources, income, assets, and financial change. So that has a lot to do with it, but this, whatever those financial issues are, 
you're going to overcome it or they're going to overcome it. It says victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you. Overcoming victory and success. So it looks positive. Look at this. This person's doing this because they feel like you are one of what they have with you is you. They won't find again. It's unique. It's one of a kind. It says a connection worth saving. Yeah. They feel like you're worth fighting for. They feel like you're worth changing for. This is somebody that has been resisting change for a very long time, but they feel like the connection that they have with you and the way that you love them or the love that the two of you share is worth making these changes for. It says valuable jewelry, quality, authentic, hard to find, real, one in a million. Yeah, perfect beauty. We have protection here. Protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. Security. So there's like some type of um, breaking mold. See, somebody is leaving their comfort zone here. Break boundaries, erase all identifications, anything which fixes you permanently into one mold. I'm telling you, somebody is like kind of going through like a rebirth, a death and rebirth. Yeah. Being reborn in like a different way. What's up with protection though? Divine vision. Get out of your own way. Discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. Positive focus and look deeper. What does this have to do with protection though? explore options so it's almost like okay and what else was it's like spirit is saying that like even if you've been off dating other people or if you decide to go and do that or if they decided to go do that it's like your protect protection your goodness your connection is protected like the connection's not gonna it's like it's okay for you to live your own life Go about your own life while this person is going through the lessons and the transformation process that they need to go through. You're actually kind of keeping things stagnant by sitting there and waiting for this person. So Spirit is tell encouraging you to try to remain optimistic, continue with your life, and let this person go through what they need to go through, okay? Because there's a resurrection. Didn't I say a death? But we have a resurrection that says, shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from the ashes even more powerful. Yeah. Somebody will be back. But again, I see you guys weighing your options. This could have already happened. This could have already happened where this you and this person are spending some time apart. You've been focusing on yourself, watering your own garden. And now they're coming back. And now you don't just, you're, just, you're indecisive. It says, weighing the pros and cons, analyzing, exploring, comparing, unsure of the relationship, contemplating and dissecting. Some of you guys may not know if you want this anymore, okay? But we have one last move here. It says, you have come far on your journey. Keep going and you will soon see what you have accomplished. It says, last step, almost there and close. We have break, you're very close to a breakthrough. A significant breakthrough is near whatever you're going through is preparing you for, the, your, for this big break. Discovery, progress. So things are about to be able to progress with somebody. I'm telling you, somebody is going to want to work on things, put in the effort. Yep, date you, court you, actually be in a relationship with you, build a relationship, get to know you more. Yep, channel your inner strength to subdue and subtly control the issues at hand, trust your power. So by you just, like I said, remaining on your throne, standing in your power, keeping your boundaries strong, it is, it's like, it's, 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 it's more powerful than you realize. Um, but yeah, somebody's going to take a risk here, it looks like, and apologize to you to try to renew things with you. Yeah, love that involves great risk. Maybe you feel like it's risky to get involved with this person, or they may feel like it's risky to be vulnerable. But somebody, I see it, it says taking chances, leap of faith, playing with fire, a lot at stake, and facing fears and gambling. And then we have apology, coming in to renew love lost, forgiveness, returning gift, not over, closure, confession, regrets, making things right. So regrets making things.